Good morning. Welcome to your Friday morning, early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum, here with some words of wisdom and some provocative thoughts for our day. Especially if you're someone who tends to be kind of a in the background person, kind of quiet, doesn't like fanfare, the light shining on you, today's card is for you. <laughs> so let's start with some nice deep breaths in through the nose. Out through the mouth. And I can tell I did a lot of breathing yesterday. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Just kind of shaking off the night, seeing if you got any little creaks and groans in your neck. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. And I'm feeling the need to energize my hands. So why don't we work on that together? Just kind of rubbing them together. Shaking them out. Rubbing them together. And shaking them out. And for those of you who have hand issues, let's just do a little exercise that is so, it like in a day or two, you'll already feel the difference. If you have arthritis in your hands, this is amazing. It's called hand yoga. So just open your hands as wide as you can and hold them there. And yeah, it's probably uncomfortable. Just hold them there. So when I'm not talking, I usually do this by counting. I'll count to 10. Then scrunch them up as tight as you can. And yes, this is probably uncomfortable too. But hold it there as tight as you can. Good morning, Cindy. Welcome. You're the first one to find me this morning. We're just doing a little hand yoga. We'll open them up as far as you can and just hold it there. Feel that tension. Just allowing it to be there. Breathe into it. And then scrunch them up again. One more time. Open them wide and hold it there. And scrunch them up. Now we're going to do a second exercise. Good morning to whomever else has popped on. Glad you're here. We're just doing a little hand yoga to wake everything up. Open them wide. And then touch your baby finger to your thumb and hold it there as tightly as you can. Good morning, Peggy. Welcome, welcome. And keep the other three fingers as up as you can. And again, it's uncomfortable. Do it anyway. Open your hands wide, and then do the fourth finger. So you're pinching as tight as you can and holding the other three fingers away as much as you can. And yes, uncomfortable, but we can do uncomfortable things. And when does growth happen? When we are uncomfortable. Open them wide, middle finger. That way you can't flip it at me. <laughs> as tight as you can, just breathing. Open them wide. One more finger. Pointer finger. And the other three fingers are as up as you can keep them. Yes, uncomfortable. And open them wide. And then shake them out. Rub them together once more. Let's send good energy to everybody. All right, now where are my practical rebels? It's quarter after. Where are, where are the rest of them? Thank you guys for showing up. I popped on early today. So the reason I'm early today is I started my four-day Tony Robbins UPW, Unleash the Power Within. Good morning, Bobby. Glad you are here. Yeah, and do this once a day, these hand exercises. Bobby's actually the one who turned me on to these. And do them once a day, and you will be amazed at how much more dexterity you have, how much less pain you have, how much less stiffness you have. Amazing stuff. I think the guy's goes by Jamber, J-A-M-B-E-R. So you can Google it. They've got exercises. They've got little, little videos of him showing the exercises, etc. So, but just that little bit will be enough. Good morning, good morning. Notification didn't come to me. Okay, well, maybe it's because I'm early. I don't know. Good morning, Abigail. Glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. We have a spot on card for today. And again, like I said earlier, and I'll repeat now because other people are on, um, Anything for the back and hips. He might have. Who knows? Who knows? Take a look. Take a look. It's amazing stuff. You never get a notification. Yeah. Thank you, Facebook. Whatever. You guys find me. I'm your tribe. You're tenacious. You hang in there. You find me anyway. So, first day of Tony Robbins. One of the things that... So, this event is actually a very interesting event because it's a mix of people who are there live. It's in Dallas. And people who are online. Together, good morning, Mel. Glad you're here. I think there's 14,000. Good morning, Gwen. Welcome. 14,000 people participating. And think about that. 
Good morning, Mandy. Welcome, welcome. You missed hand yoga, but if you if you go back and watch, you'll get some hand yoga in the beginning. 14,000 people bringing their energy to change. 14,000 people putting out there their intentions, what they want to get rid of, what is limiting them, and making change together. And we popped into a bazillion little breakout rooms, so I was with people from all over the world, which I just love. And um, some, of, some of this stuff is a little too hoo for me. He's, he's a very manly man. And some of it's like, okay, I can tone that down a little bit. But, but amazing. The man is amazing. So we started, good morning, Beth. Glad you are here. We started at 10 a.m. Central Time. And I got off the Zoom at 10.45 p.m. No breaks. I took breaks. I practice self-care. Plus, my bladder would not last that long. So, I mean, the man is just a machine. Just a machine. He's our age, 60-something, and just goes and goes and goes. Hello. Glad you are here. So, really, you don't notice that there's that much time passing. When I get hungry and when I have to pee, then I notice. But, but amazing. So, the people who were live in Dallas actually did a fire walk last night. Those of us who were on the the call broke a board. So the gist behind the board was you put on the one side what you're wanting to break through. And when I get tired as I'm working on my intentional community, I get sometimes caught in the I can't. And the X is actually where you're going to hit it with your hand. Now, do I look like I want to break a board? On the other side, you put what you want to think, who you want to be, walk on Legos. Yes, that would be damned uncomfortable. But you could see the fear in people's eyes as he was talking about them walking on fire. So here's what I wanted. Mission accomplished. I am powerful, tenacious, determined, unstoppable. My intentional community is my reality. So it is. Ha, 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 ha. And the first time I did the board break last March, I was scared to death. I was absolutely scared to death. I'm going to hurt my hand. This is never going to work for me. Good morning, Janine. Glad you're here. I'm too old. All the, all the BS, right? And it took me a long time to actually make the move because of the fear. When the board broke, I busted into tears. This time, I was so excited to do this again, to break through something else that feels like it gets in my way. Now, there were people on the call who hadn't gotten their box of materials. So you, you get a manual and you get markers and you get, get a little flag, you get to wave, all kinds of stuff. And the board. And the board. So they didn't have their board and they're like, well, how can we do this? We don't have what we need. Perfectionism, right? And so Tony Robbins repeated, this is not about walking on fire. This is not about the board. This is about overcoming your limiting beliefs. And he hammered it repeatedly. So the people who didn't have a board, what they actually did was they took a piece of paper and they busted through a piece of paper. It does not matter what the ritual is. The point is that you are stepping into your success. You're breaking through whatever limits you and stepping into your success. So then we get to today's card. Ha, ha, ha. Allowing Prayers Deck by Siobhan Nash. 57 invitations to spark a conversation with your soul. All right? Surprise, surprise. Allow success. Allow success. And I'm going to have you do something in a minute that's going to be probably very uncomfortable for some of you. I want you to do it anyway. Okay? This is a safe place. Our Practical Rebels group is a safe place for you to practice this stuff. So, we always, we, as always, we have our questions. So, Cindy, if you wouldn't mind putting them in the feed, I would appreciate it. First one is, think of a recent moment when you experienced success by showing up as your true self. Think of a recent moment when you experienced success by showing up as your true self. So that might have been you saying, no, I really can't do that. That might have been you saying, I'd like to go to this movie. That might have been you saying, I'd prefer to go to dinner here. I'd like you to clean up your whatever. Um, 
For me, it was showing up and breaking through the board and being who I really am, putting on there the real stuff. You know, good, good morning, Janine. Good, let's see. Yes, thank you. Think of a recent moment when you experienced success by showing up as your true self. So your action step was showing up as you. Good morning, Lori. Glad you are here. Welcome. Haven't seen you in a while. So how did you allow success by showing up as your real self, not putting on a face, not playing a role that somebody wanted you to play, especially for women that gets so ingrained in us. One of the things that he's also doing during this particular event is he's swearing a lot. And he's explained that the reason he is doing that is because it offends our sensibilities and helps us. You had to fire somebody. Yes, absolutely. That is a success. Doing that as as um, charitably as you can. Let's see, telling a friend who called that was not able to talk at the moment, we'll have to call her back. Fabulous, boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. That's so good. And we can do this stuff in kind and loving ways. To keep an employee who isn't performing up to snuff demoralizes the whole place, including that person. You are not doing them any favors. Turn them loose to find their ideal job. It's out there. It's out there. But as long as they stay tethered to your job, they're not going to find it, right? And so many people have so much fear about this stuff. No, yeah, exactly. So that is setting a boundary. I want blue instead of black. I want red instead of green. Those little decisions speaking our truth. It may seem petty, but it is not. It is paving the way to our true self. All right. So that's our first question. Where you allowed success by showing up as your true self. So here's our second question. What can you do today to celebrate the success that you are? What can you do today to celebrate the success that you are? How many of you got uncomfortable? So I want you to do something. Here's where I'm going to give you your call to action. We're going to do it all together. All right. I want you to say out loud, I am success. I am not I have success, not I create, I am, own it. I am success, say it. How uncomfortable is it? Very good, keep going. I am success. Now change the inflection, I am success. I am success. Keep working with it. Say it, say it, say it. Do it in the mirror. Do it in the mirror. Another one that you can do in the mirror is, I love you. You're talking to yourself. I love you. I love you. Yes, I am success. I am success. God doesn't make junk. We're all success. Claim it. Own it. Walk in it. Be it. Right? This is not something that women are trained to do. This is not something that women in particular, especially women of a certain age, are comfortable doing. You will also find as you do so, but keep doing it anyway, that other women may kind of look askance at you. Who does she think she is? She's not staying in her place, <laughs> right? If we look at powerful women, what kind of comments are made about them? Good morning, good morning, glad you're here. What kind of comments are made about them? The who does she think she is? She's too big for her britches, blah, blah, blah. I remember when, this is in the 80s, when my sister and I went to college and were getting um, higher education. My grandmother, God love her, she's good, gone now, said, you girls are going to be taking jobs from the men. That was her era's thinking. That was her era's thinking. Most of us now don't think that way. But even tracking that, watching that thinking changing. Yes, this is very hard. It's powerful. We need to claim our sovereignty, right? And I love watching women who speak their truth. Okay? Um, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. I love hearing her talk. She claims her shit, man. Is she perfect? No. Are any of us perfect? No. Are the men who think they're perfect perfect? No. <laughs> and that is such interesting stuff. 
men will try something well before they're prepared to do so. Oftentimes they fail. They don't care. They just plow right through. That's how they've been trained. Women will read about it, learn about it, think about it, hesitate, whatever, whatever. By the time they finally try it, they're so overprepared. It's unbelievable, right? We need to start doing things faster. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to try it. Let's see what happens. Very uncomfortable for us, right? I want all my T's crossed and I's dotted. Thank you. But sometimes you just have to jump. Again, I told this story before, but I'm going to tell it again. The woman who has had multiple successful businesses. This was an interview with Success Magazine. And she talked about one of her businesses that had failed. And the reason it had failed was she held back repeatedly on launching products. She said, really, it was software. We throw it, now we throw it out there, bugs and all. We let the consumer figure out where the bugs are. They complain, we fix it, and on we go. But we launch early. We launch early. So maybe that can be our theme. Launch early. Launch early. What are you thinking about doing? What are you wanting to create? What are you wanting to grow? Launch early. All right? So allow success. Allow success. Claim success. And again, if your experience is the crabs in a bucket, but as you're climbing higher, and, he, and Tony Robbins talked about this, and he said this is kind of a uniquely American thing. Isn't that disgusting? That in other countries, when people are climbing, not all countries, obviously, but in, like Afghanistan, but in other countries, if you're climbing, yes, there's a beautiful one. Gwen says she has a great male boss who always just went for it and taught me to just do it. Easier to ask forgiveness than to get permission ahead. I'm one of those people. Leap and then on the way down go, well, I probably should have looked. Oh, well, better figure out how to fly. <laughs> Practicing that, learning that, teaching that to children, teaching that to girls. Okay? Yes, exactly. Having a new position that you don't know anything about. Jumping in. Doing it. The one that I love is when um, way back they had car hops. And many of those car hops were on roller skates. And some kids applying for the job not having any idea how to roller skate. Can you imagine rolling along on wheels with a tray full of food learning how to roller skate? do this stuff. Again, as kids, we did this all the time. We practiced, sat on the front porch with our little front teeth missing and learned to whistle <laughs> until we could do it, right? We didn't care if we sounded terrible. We did it anyway, right? We need to get back to that. We need to get back to that. That's where innovation happens. Countries stagnate when their people don't feel comfortable innovating. And it's comfortable being uncomfortable, right? Because you're forging a whole new path. You don't know what you're doing. That is the, the state we need to be in. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm bringing some background to it. I'm bringing some experience. I'm bringing a good intellect. I'm bringing wisdom. But I don't know what I'm doing. So let's just go for it. So hopefully you found this helpful. Listen over and over and over. Just pour it into yourself. So what I do with my broken boards is I sit them right on my computer. My other one is I am unstoppable. I don't take no for an answer. There's always a way I break through all the bullshit. That was last that was the last time. And then there's this one. So I keep those broken boards around to remind me this was something I thought I couldn't do until I did it. So, have an awesome Friday. Have an amazing Friday. I'm I've got a, a Zoom call with someone. No, I've got a phone call with someone. And then I'm jumping into round 2 of Tony Robbins, which probably won't be a whole lot shorter than today than, than yesterday was. Um, but again, when you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, it does not feel like work. So 11 hours yesterday without even a pee break, I took those because I take good care of me now. Um, and I'm up, I'm ready to go, on we go. So remember, you are capable of far more than you think you are, including allowing success and celebrating your success. Claim your success. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.